So hello and welcome back yet again to another week with Gertrude where we have made it. We are in Pandaria. It is kind of awesome. And we are heading to the, um, let me make sure that I'm not being dumb. Yes, we are heading to the Valley of the Four Winds so that we can find Hemet Nessingwary. So I don't know if you played a lot in Pandaria. I actually really, oops, really loved Pandaria, like a lot. And hopefully I won't be stuck up here on Hellscream's Fist or I will be very mad. I'm hoping I don't actually have to do these starter quests. I don't think I do. I never have to do them on my Alliance characters, but it's been a really long time since I've actually been here on a Horde character without doing the opening quests. Anyway, I'm going to make my way to the Valley of the Four Winds. If I see anything incredibly cool, I will be sure to turn on the camera and let you know. Hopefully I also won't get killed by the Alliance here as I fly right over their territory. So yeah, we will uh, rejoin Gertrude when she gets to the Valley of the Four Winds. So if you've watched any of my Exploring Azeroth series, you know that I love the little hidden places. And this is actually one, it's not all that hidden, but I feel like a lot of people don't come here because there's literally nothing here except for a lot of really good houses. Now, that's the other thing I'm kind of obsessed with is always finding houses since Blizzard has not seen fit to give us housing in World of Warcraft, one of the failings that I feel like they have always done. And the Secret Airy is one of my favorite little kind of hidden away nooks. It's kind of neat. There's, again, literally no reason to come here. But if you just want kind of a little out of the way place with a bunch of N NPCs that are named and a bunch of dog poop, I don't think Hoggle and Hank here are that well trained. You know, I, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking Hoggle and Hank are not indoor trained yet because they're, they're crapping all over the floor. But uh, yeah. Secret Airy, very cool little spot. There's also a fun little cave back here that is just filled with all of these different hawks. Again, I have no idea why, but you know what? I like it. Little stuff like this just kind of makes me happy. You can talk to Hawkmaster Lou and he just says, Welcome! We've been watching you for some time. You are the gust of wind that heralds the storm of change. So, anyway, back to, to heading to the Valley of the Four Winds. But if you wanted to know where the secret area is, it is literally right here, kind of in between the Vale of Eternal Blossoms over to the uh, west. You've got the Jade Forest to the east. And you're right above the Tavern of the Mist, kind of. It's just a cool little place. All right, we have made it to the valley. Now, if you don't know where Hemet Nessingwary is, he's actually kind of off the beaten path. Um, but he also is the home of the engineering trainer. So if you're an engineer, you've probably already found him. But he is just kind of hanging out over by the cliffs over just looking over Kasserang Wilds. So yeah. It also feels really weird not to go and start up my farm. I think I have a farm on just about every character because I don't know. It's just such a nice peaceful place. You know you have your own little instanced farm and I always thought if Blizzard can give me an instanced farm and an instanced garrison. Why can't they give me an instant hou instanced house? I will probably be salty about that until they finally do give us player housing, but um, hopefully if they ever do, they'll do it right. All right. Well, we have a little bit longer to fly, 
Although, oh, that's one other thing. If you didn't know about this, it is probably one of the most useless but fun things, and it's not actually a toy. If you go over here to the Imperial Granary and go underneath the staircase, you can pick up Carmen Miranda's mesmerizing fruit hat. And once I get out of here, I will show you exactly what it does. It is kind of hilarious. It has a really fun interaction that you can do at your garrison. Um, Gertrude doesn't have a garrison yet, but if you put on the mesmerizing foot hat, foot, fruit hat, foot hat, you know, if it was a mesmerizing foot hat, that would almost be funnier. But you can put on the hat for an hour. It does break if you're in con combat, but you will be dancing. And it doesn't matter if you're running or walking or even mounted you're gonna dance. Like I said, it does break in combat, but it's just one of those amusing little things. It's not a toy. It's kind of like the old school toys and things that you used to be able to get that you actually have to keep in your bag or in your bank to actually use it. But it's a lot of fun. And like I said, um, when we get to Draenor, I will show you a few interesting little secrets and shortcuts that I've learned about Draenor. And if I remember, I will show you the interaction between the mesmerizing fruit hat and your garrison. It's actually really worth it. And there it is, the Kilimanjaro, which is the area where Hemet Nessingwary and his company have set up shop right here. It is the Nessigwari Safari, so we're going to land and see what's up with our good pal Hemet. Also, I'm going to go ahead and take off the mesmerizing fruit hat because I feel like it's going to be very distracting. Hey Hemet, what's up? Hey there, Gertrude. It's been a while since we shared a proper hunt. Now hasn't it? Let's see if time has softened your aim. Well, you know, I am the veteran of the Wrathgate now, so. All right, Junior, what's up? Mushan Mastery. Mushan, would you look at the size of them? Old as the dirt that they walk on, probably. A fine trophy. If you're looking to test your metal as a big game hunter, start with them. All right, so he wants us to get 15 Mushan, or 15 Mushan big old rhino things. And Tani here says, Tigers, no matter what land I go to, I hear about these big fan fanged beasts, and yet I haven't had a chance to hunt any of them. Let's go hunt some tigers. I'll go east, you go west. I think I saw some near Dustback Gorge. I'm sure that there are tons near the Mushan. So she wants Gorge Stalkers, and it looks like that's about all anybody wants. So let's go down here and see what we can find. Oh, yep, I see a tiger. All right, I guess we probably should get Old King Crush back out. I don't know that we're going to need him, but, you know, it's always good to have a hunting companion. Good job, Crushy. Yep, I'm glad we pulled him out. All right, well that is a, a big old tiger. Good job, we got some leather. And there is a Mushan. So let's take that one out. Now, do be careful if you do these quests because if you target a baby, a lot of times you get three babies and a very angry mother. So I always try to have a trap out or at least kind of be ready. Also, I think that Gorge Stalker got involved, so let's go ahead and take him too. All right, well, I'm going to complete hunting this and I will see you back when we're done. 
All right, some stalkers and some moosh on later, and we are ready to turn this in. Wow, you really racked up a count. I'll chat with Mr. Plebe about getting the best one converted into a trophy just for you. I will totally take that. You know, um, unfortunately, I can't believe that the stuff from Wrath of the Lich King is still better than this stuff, but that's okay. We'll take it and hope, well, I was hoping it would upgrade, but it didn't. Fox Mastery. So when I was scouting east of here, I saw a collection of foxes. That's what I first learned to hunt when back on the Wandering Isle. If you want to see the challenge a young Pandaren hunter faced while growing up, head east and face off against a bunch of foxes. They tend to be clever and cunning, so uh, be on your guard. All right. I think we can handle some foxes. All right, Junior. Well done, Gertrude. My father's travels across the sea to a new continent, and all he can seem to want to hunt is old boring wolves. Me, I like to hunt stuff with meat on its bones. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Quality over quantity, my boy. All right. Well, what do you want, Hammett? My boy here is a talented hunter in training. Let's show him an old Nessie-style hunt, shall we? I saw a mighty big Mushan east of here with a hide dark as night. It looked like it had taken down a number of hunters in its day. If you want a big game hunt, go try and take it on. All right, we can do that. And what about you, Mr. Matt Lucky Gotcher? I always was a fan of a good stag hunt. Stags are tough, fast, and territorial. They may be plant eaters, but they can give any hunter a run for his money. East of here is a whole mess of wilderland stag, just waiting for a hunter like yourself to give him a good run. Happy hunting. All right, so foxes, stags, and a big old dark hide thing. Also, I don't know if she sells it to everybody. Let's find out. I would like to buy from you. Ah, yes. Okay. So if you didn't know, um, old Sally Fizzle Fury, the engineering trainer, also sells two toys that are kind of hilarious. You can buy a stackable stag from her and a foxicopter controller. They're a thousand gold each, and they're just kind of fun little toys. Very good. And I do believe if you did not already have your skinning training, Mr. Plebe will train you in skinning. Now, if you're a leather worker, you have to go all the way to the Grummy Bazaar to learn Pandaren leather working. It's kind of a little bit out of the way. I haven't done it with Gertrude yet. Probably will, because I do like to at least craft a little bit of my own gear if it possibly beats what I'm wearing and so I will probably do that later but until then let's go hunting now I do remember that these foxes are kind of a pain in the butt because they stealth they remind me a lot of the panthers in um, Stranglethorn Vale but you know it's all good all right, Mr. Stag. These stags are kind of, kind of aggressive. Unlike real deer who are just incredibly good at eating all of the plants out of my garden. Oh. Also, there's an ominous presence. We feel as if we're being hunted. Interesting. Oh, there's one of those sly foxes. All right, well, you know what? We're going to make our way to Dark Hide, and then I will just hunt foxes all the way back. But uh, I will turn you guys on when I find Dark Hide. So just making our way to Dark Hide, and I have killed three stags and six foxes because they keep uh, ambushing me. But there is Dark Hide. All right. I think we got this. 
Although he is actually an elite, so I might have to actually heal Crushy and all of those other things. I think we're going to be fine. So I'm kind of curious um, what your favorite memories of Pandaria are. I really, truly loved this entire expansion. It was so much fun. Um, I remember... <laughs> I remember finally getting flying, because flying was such a pain in the butt to actually get. And it was so expensive, and the guild that I was in at the time, I had a guildmate who very thankfully flew me around because she had the Vial of the Sands, which was still a very much cool thing that not everybody had. I feel like everybody's got it now, but the Vial of the Sands was so hard to get back in the day. Actually, it was hard to get uh, for me when I finally got it. I remember going and just doing so much archaeology just to get that. Now that I have it, I'm happy. I, I do feel like I really appreciate that in Dragonflight, you can just go to the Dragon Flying Trainer and actually get Passenger Enable. So if you didn't know about that, go do that. It makes your life so much easier if you're questing with friends to be able to just one of you ride along. It's kind of wonderful. But yeah, to do that, just go to your dragon flying trainer, they're all over, and ask them to enable passengers, and they will be happy to do that. So, alright, I'm going to finish killing some stags and some foxes, and I will see you back at the camp. Alright, we have finally taken out the last of the foxes. They are so annoying to kill, but that's okay, because we did it. All right, Hammett, we have done it, and uh, lucky gotcha, we got your, uh, we got your stags. I haven't seen stag hunting this good since Ashenvale. You know, I have hunted many a stag in Ashenvale. All right, Tawny, what about you? Well done, you outfoxed the foxes. I will talk to Mr. Plebe about getting you another trophy maid. Oh, thank you. I love trophies. And Hemet, I did it. Putting the big into big game hunter. Now that is a proper trophy right there. Thank you for the hero's purse. All right, Junior, what about you? Granted, tortoises are not big game, but they can be mean game. They also work as the perfect bait for bigger game. Gotcha found some old tablets saying that the Tor Torjari pit is a sacrifice in sight. The old empire used to feed unruly sorts to the waters, as it were. Well, I mean to see what's down in that water. Gather up some fresh tortoise shells and meet me at the pit. Let's see if the old legends be true. So we need to get five intact tortoise shells. Meet me at the Torjari pit once you have the carcasses, Gertrude. All right, I will. So the real question is, can I take on a star mob? We're going to try, you know, because you never know. We might actually be able to do it. Or Gertrude might suffer her maybe second death, I think. You know, it's, it's always worth the shot. Watch out there, Crushy. He's going to do a devastating arc. It's going to be terrible. But we're going to try and take out Jondar. I wonder if he's named after anything. I think that's my favorite part about being a hunter, is being able to stand this far back and actually shoot things. It's kind of nice. Oh, he summoned a Quillen. No, 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 bad Quillen. I don't want to play with you. 
Also, all the traps. The traps are kind of nice, too. Alright, Crushy, let's heal you up a little bit again. Although you really didn't need it. I think we're going to be able to do it. And also, we're going to see if this Quillen will disappear or if we have to fight it, too. One more shot, I think. Ah, a worthy opponent, and we leveled up on it. Very nice. Two points for me. And their plate. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, well, time to hunt turtles. So, about 15 turtles later, we finally have five tortoise shells, and we can go and see Junior. Hey, Junior, I think you're way up there, and I don't feel like waiting. Oh, looks like Hemet came along, too. That's always a good thing. All right, Junior. I've always been living in me father's shadow, but after today, folks are going to remember the name of Nessing Wary Junior. Are they now? Thank you. This one ought to one-up me pop. Do you think so? Parental mastery. If them tablets were correct, all you gotta do is a small dance ritual and the big thing of the deep will be summoned. When it comes out, we'll get them and show me Pop that we are both true big game hunters like him. I mean, okay. Huh. You'll see, Pop. I'm gonna bag me a big one. Let's see if this ritual will work. Step one, dance. Step two, say the words, heed my call. Waters of pain and bring forth Taraji's bane. Uh, dude, you, you just... All right, well, um, I guess we're going in. All the way down. Thankfully, I don't have to hold my breath because I'm a forsaken. <laughs> Hammett's like, Junior, no! All right. I wonder what in the world happened. He definitely did not hunt the big game. I think it hunted him. The lair of the beast. Dun, dun. Huh. Quite the cute little lair. I dig it. Anything cool down here other than this beast? Oh, it looks like Junior is seriously messed up. All right, Junior, what's going on? Try shaking him. Gertrude, watch the corners. I hear something coming. Oh, that's just disgusting, isn't it? You chose the wrong hunter to hunt. Gertrude, kite that thing a little farther away so I can get a better shot. All right. Come here, little hunter's bane. Crushy, you do you. Hemet, are you actually going to do anything, or are you just going to, like, stand there and worry about your kid? All right. Well, Junior, you're okay. What? How did I get here? Sorry I made such a mess of things, Dad. No, you were right. You did put big into big game hunting. You've done me proud, son. I love you, Pop. I love you too, son. Now let's go get a pint. All right, well, we'll go turn this in. Now that we've uh, patched up all of the issues between Hemet and Junior, I guess, uh, I guess parental therapy is also on Gertrude's list of things that she does well. Also, this pit is really cool. You know, if I don't come down here with a breathing spell, I usually come straight down and go straight back up. But uh, I always do appreciate Blizzard's efforts that they put into underwater stuff. All right, well, let's go turn this in. Now that Hemet Jr. knows that he really is a good big game hunter, let's see what Senior has to say. You saved me, son. I cannot ever thank you enough. Please, take this for your effort. I will totally take that ring. Thank you. And that is it. We don't actually get a fun uh, Ernest Hemingway 
themed title or anything, unfortunately, but that's okay, because we're going to do a few other things while we are here in Pan Pandaria. Oh, by the way, that is a Foxycopter. That is what you will get as your toy. It's kind of adorable. Um, so yeah, I think next week I'm going to show you a couple little things that I, I know because we need to go to Draenor to find Hemet this next time. And I think I can do it without having to do the whole Draenor campaign. I do know a secret back door into Draenor, so tune in next week if you don't already know about that secret back door into Draenor that will take you to your getting your garrison without doing that whole hour-long intro quest that's such a pain in the butt that everybody hates, or at least I hate. I don't know if everybody actually hates it. But yeah, that was Hemet Nessingwary in Pandaria. So until next week, from Gertrude and me and Crushy and Hemet, I will see you next time. Say goodbye, Gertrude. Gertrude says goodbye. <laughs>